guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. Today is part three, the final part of the Tika Ultra Lightweight Rifle build. Take a minute, please, to stop right here and just smash that subscribe button that's right down in the corner of the screen and help me out in that way. Also look in the description below for a link to Patreon and consider supporting with a small monthly donation. Helps keep me in business, honestly. Guys, today, uh, so far, I've come out here to Gadsden Shooting Center in Missouri, and what I've done is I've fired one round downrange and I cleaned fired another and cleaned, fired another and cleaned. I'm gonna fire a couple, three more probably and clean again and then maybe like five more and clean again. And then I'm just gonna run it. I'm not a huge barrel break in kind of guy, um, but I do it, you know, minimally at the very least. And uh, I've got about 200 rounds with me today that I'm gonna try to get through. I'm not gonna burn through it cause I don't need to stress the barrel like that, but I'm gonna fire, you know, a magazine full of 10 and then I'm gonna let the barrel cool, fire 10 more, and so on. I'll be chronographing as I go along, and uh, I'll show you guys uh, everything from the initial accuracy to um, smack and steel out here, hopefully at a thousand yards. I've got a really switchy wind here today. Looks like at about a five o'clock to 6.30, back and forth at about five to seven miles an hour. So it'll be fun out there with a, with a you know, switchy wind coming from the rear, but We'll make her happen for you guys today. We're going back to the center. Well, taking a little break here, guys, letting the barrel cool down. I just want to give you an update on what I'm finding so far. So, uh, I have completely broken in the barrel. Um, you know, one shot clean, three shots clean, five shots clean. Actually, I did one, one, and one. Then I went three and cleaned, then five and cleaned, then ten and cleaned. So now here I am, about 40 rounds into the barrel. Shoots uh, probably half minute of accuracy at 100 yards with the factory Federal Gold Medal match. This is shooting the 105 Burgers. I forgot to grab the box. Uh, it's the 105 uh, Burger hybrid targets. It's shooting them according to the lab radar. Uh, it started at 2950. We've already sped up to 2990 feet per second. And All right, guys. So at this point in the video, I actually had come back a second day to the range. Um, number of reasons. Number one, uh, that bad wind day uh, just had me questioning some of my, my dropped out of my dope, uh, the impacts that I was getting out at distance. And so I wanted a slightly calmer wind day. So um, some of these shots you're seeing are from a second day. Uh, came back with my buddy Rex and he helped me film some stuff. And um, so this is kind of final report on how does she shoot the, uh, the Tika ultralight build. So just as an overview, um, yeah, I brought my competition rifle, which is about a 26, 27 pound, 25 to 27 pound uh, 6GT in an MDT ACC chassis with the weight system and all the stuff to make it heavy. Um, I brought that back out to the range just to compare uh, the recoil. I didn't really get any of that on video, but suffice to say it is noticeable the increase in recoil that you feel uh, with the six Creedmoor in an ultralight configuration like this. It's not bad. As you can see from the videos, it's really not, you know, recoiling all that much. I'm still able to spot my impacts down range and make corrections, uh, at least when it hits dirt berm. If it just disappears into grass, uh, I, I'm not picking it up. But it really, you know, there's something to be said for that extra weight helping to mitigate recoil. Uh, the other thing is that um, I went ahead and fired this for, uh, for groups with the Federal Gold Medal Match uh, ammunition. And this is not the match ammunition that I'm actually going to be running in the gun ultimately, but as I break it in, I'm using this Federal Gold Medal Match ammo. And as you can see here, I was able to get a .65 MOA group at 100 yards. Um, yes, three shot group. I know, I should shoot five. You guys can holler at me in the comments. Uh, but I was uh, I was fairly impressed with that for factory ammo, um, and I'm not much of a hundred yard group shooter. Um, and uh, invariably, I, I, I forget to adjust my parallax at hundred yards, and it just I'm you know all over the place. And anyway, reasons. Um, but I was impressed with it, and then you know I was able to stretch it on out. 
uh, today to, uh, I did not try the thousand yard, actually with the six Creedmoor and the, the Tika, I think I topped out at 700 yards today, but impacts, um, you know, on the small plates all the way out to those distances. Um, and so really no complaints. Um, the gun functions flawlessly. The Tika action is smooth and nice. Uh, the muzzle brake does its job of, of helping to mitigate that recoil a little bit. The Brownells MPO scope um, is nice and clear, and I'm not getting any kind of distortion. It's easy to figure out. You know, it's got zero stop. It's just a good all-around lightweight precision rifle package. And I think if you're the kind of shooter that could focus on the fundamentals, slow yourself down, remember to square up behind the rifle, remember your breathing, remember your trigger press, remember your follow through. If you can get all the things done correctly, um, you could be every bit as effective with this lightweight gun as you could with, you know, a heavy competition setup. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of those deals. It really boils down to the shooter and the application of the fundamentals. Guys, thanks for watching the, this video series on the Tika um, ultralight build. Uh, special thanks to Modular Driven Technologies for supplying the uh, the LSS chassis, uh, the lightweight setup. Thanks to Brownells for providing the MPO 3 to 18 by 50 optic. Really impressed with that little guy so far. Tracks perfectly, and uh, you know it's. I'm really looking forward to shooting this in competition, and I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me for the last uh, three weeks while we've been doing this kind of rifle assembly and shooting. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that subscribe button please and uh, tune in again soon for another great video from Precision Rifle Network.